Hello, my name is Antonio Gil and I'm the developer of a small program called uh, Beheader, which is the prototype uh, of a simple protocol analyzer written in TCL, a scripting language. And it's a small program for Cisco routers, which takes advantage of the hex dump and packets store in buffers of Cisco routers. As you can see here on the topology, um, we've set two OSPF areas inside an EIGRP autonomous system with the purpose uh, of uh, capturing packets going through Einstein. Uh, so we'll make sure that uh, packets from both protocols are captured. And uh, to, one of, to one of Einstein's interfaces is connected a TFTP server, which is this computer. Okay, the program B header will be executed from the TFTP server and don't, doesn't have to be installed in Einstein's. Although, if you want to transfer it, and you can do so and execute it from Einstein itself. And again, the, the program will be executed from the TFTP server and run inside Einstein. Okay. From this demonstration, uh, we use uh, the GNS3 emulation software. And uh, you can see here the TFTP server as one of the uh, loopback uh, interfaces of the computer connected to Einstein. So we start the three routers on their consoles. Okay. For this demonstration and for the testing environment, I've been using this, this TP, TFTP client, which is TFTPD32. It's a small and simple client, but it's efficient and it does what it says on the tin. Okay. Okay, we can see here the three console windows of the routers. I guess this is Einstein. So if we press 3, we're going to spawn the window, so we have a better look. And here we have Einstein. Okay, We enable privilege mode and we execute the program from the TFTP server. executing and there we go that's be header uh, running in the Cisco router okay we have we have here some options uh, if we press one it will give us a display of the interfaces and that we have available and we can capture the packets um, by single interface or in promiscuous uh, mode which is uh, all interfaces at the same time so if we go back to the main menu and we press Number two, which is the start of capturing, and now is at this point in time is capturing packets. Okay, we are going to give Einstein a little bit more of extra work, and we're going to ping one of his interfaces. We are going to ping from these interfaces to this one here. Okay, so we go back. Okay, now what we paint Einstein, we stop the capture and we should see all the packets. We see that 56 packets have been captured and we see in yellow here the ICMP packets that uh, we obtained from the pink. Okay, as you can see the blue packets belong to EIGRP and the green ones belong to OSPF. It would have been nice to capture some OSPF uh, packets as they start negotiating to the nature of the GNS software. Uh, but again, um, that could be achieved as well. Okay, if we go back to the main menu, uh, we have also the option of, sorry, we go back to the main menu, and we have the option to start the capture and convert the capture, the packets, convert them uh, into a format uh, for Wireshark uh, an analysis. 
So we, we press the P. As you can see the packets are being converted to the right format uh, for analysis in Wireshark. All we have to do is copy paste these packets and transfer it to uh, transfer them to a text uh, file, and then they can be analyzed by Wireshark. Okay, so that's basically it. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, they are welcome. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.